What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be making a simple soup today. I've got some shiitake mushrooms, some onions, uh, some fresh garlic, and uh, a couple other ingredients. I want to make a really, really simple broth type of soup, kind of like an Asian style, something really warming for this winter. I know I live in Florida, but it's still kind of cold out here and I've been craving a really good soup. And sometimes we don't want to use so many ingredients. So this is going to be really simple. We're going to make it quick. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So let's get right to work. Like I said, this is a really simple one. These are the ingredients that I'm using. I got about a handful of chopped uh, bok choy from my garden. I have a mixture here of uh, shiitake mushrooms and uh, some baby portobellas that I had uh, left over from another recipe. I just um, chop them up. I have one whole white onion, just kind of roughly chopped. I have four quarts of uh, vegetable broth, about six cloves of finely minced fresh garlic. This is my hot uh, sesame oil. Well, my hot is hot oil, but I finish it with uh, with sesame oil. I'll put the the recipe for this on the i card above. This is just like a spicy uh, sesame oil that gives a nice Asian flavor to, to the soups or whatever ingredients you put it in, whatever meals you put it in. And I'm using some soy sauce. And what I have here is actually some cilantro that I vacuum sealed and I'm trying to preserve it from my garden because it only grows here in Florida in the winters. So I'm trying to vacuum seal it, see if it still keeps the nice flavor. So I'm gonna try to use it in the soup, see how it works. First time using it like this, and um, that's really about it. So let's get over to our pot and start um, with the ingredients. So I somehow managed to miss hitting the film button, but this is the soup. Um, after I put it together, I just added all the ingredients one after the other, basically first um, added some cooking oil, then added uh, the garlic, the onion, then the mushrooms, um, added in the bok choy and sauteed it for a little while then added um, the vegetable broth and then added a little bit of soy sauce so basically um, I couldn't put that part in there because somehow I managed to forget to hit the record button so I hope you guys um, don't get too upset by it I hope you still enjoy the video so we're gonna come back in like 30 minutes and uh, check it out. It should be done by then. We'll serve it and then I'll give it a taste test All right guys, so there's the soup It's basically done. It's been about 25 minutes, maybe 28 minutes or so. I'm gonna stop it I'm gonna go ahead and serve it. We're gonna put some hot chili oil in it and we're gonna give it a taste test All right guys, so there is the soup we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of a uh, hot chili oil to give it some of that nice spicy sesame seed flavor. Look how beautiful that came out. It's really, really nice. Tons of mushrooms. Got the bok choy in there. Really nutritious, very warming for this time of year. Great, simple soup you guys can make just in a few minutes. If you wanted to add chicken to it, you could do that too. You can add uh, whatever protein you like. If you're doing vegan, you could add tofu instead and add some extra protein to it. But this is a really, really nice soup. Very simple to make, very quick. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys really soon on the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and give this soup a try. It smells really, really great. I love the smell of hot sesame oil if you guys have never made that stuff you really should try it i'll leave the recipe like i said if you haven't tried hot chili oil you really ought to try it it really gives a ton of flavor to your food mm. well mm. this warms my soul right now it's amazing. The flavor of the shiitake mushrooms, I don't know if you guys have tried it, but it's really distinct. 
It has a really, really cool and interesting flavor. It's hard to explain. Kind of like a nutty flavor, but it's, it's different. Really love the flavor of them in here. Mmm. With a nice heat from the sesame oil, the garlic. Comes together really nice in this broth. This is something so simple that you guys can make in minutes. I highly recommend you guys give this soup a try.